Everybody had a lot to say when Trump was in the was in the White House. Anybody got to say with this old ass bum in there? Fucking up our country, fucking up the economy. These motherfuckers projected that we were gonna have a million new jobs, two hundred thousand new jobs. And where the fuck are they at? Probably two hundred thousand illegal immigrants that you motherfuckers thought about the border got new jobs, but we don't. We hurting in America. Everybody quiet as shit. Where the fuck are the Joe Biden supporters? I can tell y'all why I support Trump. Tell me why y'all support this motherfucker. Ain't doing shit but fuck this up every day, fucking us up. I don't see shit. Anybody saying nothing? They had a whole lot of energy. They had a whole lot of energy when my motherfucker man president was in there. And everything that Trump did, I told you, I support him for this. I support him for that. I had to stand behind that every fucking day. I had to stand behind. Well, you wanted people to say why they voted for Biden and stand up for it. So I'm going to answer all your questions. I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Uh, I worked every day during COVID. I wasn't off one day. The extra $1,200 and $600 and $1,400, I just saved it. Uh, I never missed a day of work. I worked the whole time. I actually worked overtime. Let me show you. What I was able to do because I worked. Whoa, look at that. There's a pool. I'm hanging out at my new house that I bought during the pandemic. Oh, that's what's called being educated. When you're educated, you know, and you work a job, I work in the medical field, that people actually need, then you never get laid off. You can work as much as you want. And all of those people at the border that you're talking about, ranting about, hmm, I think it's funny. You must work the most horrible job if somebody who can't even speak the language or has even a green card can come and take your job. To me, that makes me think that maybe your job sucks. But I digress. So, let's talk about this. If Trump would have done what was right instead of lying since the COVID began and saying it was no big deal, and if he would have instituted masks and social distancing early, maybe things wouldn't have got so crazy like they did. But because he decided to play it off and not do anything, things got really bad. So... That's why we had a lockdown and people had to lose their jobs. If he would have been a real president and actually led, then maybe things wouldn't have got so bad. That's what presidents are supposed to do. But instead, he gave his family members jobs. You know, Ivanka and Jared. Everybody had a job, you know, you know, milking that government teat. So, also, when it comes to the border, people, you got to realize... People are poor. They're needing social benefits. They're being attacked by gangs and cartels in their own country. So the United States has always been this beacon. The United States has thrived on immigration. Ever since the founding of this country, you go back and you look at the 1700s, the 1800s, immigrants were always coming over here. They used to not always be Mexicans. They used to be Italians and Germans and English and Australians and Japanese. Do you know? See, everybody always wants to blame what's going on at the border. See, I live in Texas, so I know a lot about the border. They always want to blame and say, see all the Mexicans, they're coming over here. But do you know the fastest growing ethnic group in the United States? They're Asians. And the thing about Asians are they're better educated and they make more money. So if anybody's still in your job, it's probably an Asian. That's why uh, Trump pushed so hard against the Asians and called it the Wuhan flu. Because he was trying to stir up those anti-Asian sentiments. So, let's talk about other things. Like I said, I never lost my job. I always, I worked more. I worked so much that I was able to buy a house with a pool. I never was off of work. 
and all of my money that I got from my stimulus, that's just extra money that I just put in my savings account. Savings, savings, savings. I had so much money in my savings account that I took off two months. All of Thanksgiving and all of Christmas and then go back to work till after the first of the year because I saved so much money. So I actually benefited from the pandemic. The pandemic was actually a good thing for me. You know, so I would have to say if your life sucked during the pandemic and you're hanging out at a gas station, uh, you should go get one of those millions of jobs that are out there that people don't seem to want to work because, you know, dun, 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 the Republicans didn't want to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. So maybe you wouldn't be hanging out at a gas station if the Republicans would raise these low paying jobs so people could actually provide for their family. And maybe you could have a pool too. So let's look at the other thing. Ah, gas. Everybody's blaming the gas on Biden. But see, these people are idiots because they don't understand. It has nothing to do with Biden. It was hacked and hackers shut it down. This has been going on for years as technology has increased. These hackers from Russia and Asia have figured out ways to break into systems. You can read about it. You can Google it. There's all of these municipalities that's been shut down. Hospitals, police departments, schools, and now a pipeline. Because why would they target a pipeline? Because they know that we need that gas. It has nothing to do with the president. You know, what the politicians should have done is that's why Joe Biden wants to do infrastructure. And one thing about infrastructure is infrastructure pays to have cybersecurity. But no, you don't want to do that because that's too expensive. So, like I said, I answer all your questions. I did great. The pandemic was wonderful. Sorry it sucks so bad for you. Maybe you should get educated and you wouldn't have a problem. And maybe you should quit voting for Republicans who don't give a crap about you. Because you're poor. Sorry. Bye.